What is going on everyone? It is Abdul here and I'm back with yet another part of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2. <laughs> and in this part we will be going oh wait. No, we're not going to, to Snowbiz. I just remembered we're supposed to go into Air Crash so we can get the red gem via a secret entrance, which is literally on the beginning of the level. But I'm going to do this a little differently. We will be finishing the level. But we won't be going into the end of the level. And uh, I, I sh it should be clear right now and what I'm going to do. I'm just going to get that checkpoint specifically. And there's the platform that leads into the secret warp room. Which has a secret entrance into Snowgo. Which obviously has the red gem. But uh, yeah. Um... We, can, we may as well just skip every single box because this level also has a secret entrance to get the box gem but a secret area i guess but that's not accessible except from the secret warp room itself which has a secret entrance to this level but still yeah okay back to the game we won't be getting that checkpoint we're just gonna skip it and do a really high slide spin jump so we could just get the crystal, okay, and get into the death route, which you can only access if you have not died in this level. Or if you actually en entered it and died inside, you may as well just re-enter it, it's gonna be there all the time after that. So, oh god, oh god, come on, okay, nice. So yeah, we may as well, there's also a, yeah, I forgot, what am I even saying? Okay, let me rephrase that. The death round has a gem, obviously. So we got the crystal, obviously. We got the first checkpoint, which is right at the beginning of the level, obviously. We will not be going into the end of the death round, no. We're gonna suicide and go back into the very first checkpoint we broke and bada boom. Oh yeah, I forgot to actually mention that this game also saves all the boxes you last broke so if you break a certain amount of boxes then you get a checkpoint that basically saves that amount of boxes that you broke and the collectibles that you got but i don't think that's the uh case in the game boy games for whatever reason so yep we got the crystal and gem and death rock gem excuse me for air crash so we technically just finished the level kind of there's only remaining the um uh, uh, box jump. So, yeah. Okay, back to Snowgo. We're in the secret route. Or secret death death route, I guess. Or secret entrance. Yeah, secret entrance. That's what it is. We are currently going for the red gem, obviously. Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to say, really. <laughs> I really don't. My brain is just really off today. But yeah, this is basically... I mean, I guess you could call it a secret area. And there are a lot of plump fruits here, a lot of collectibles, and you really need invincibility in this part. Well, it's in the secret entrance, I guess, because it's really, 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 okay, I forgot. I don't know how to do this part. Okay, there we go. Okay. Whew. That was close. But yeah, we got our gem. Red gem. And uh, I really don't know what I'm supposed to say. For some reason, my blood pressure is really low right now. I should get. I should eat something after this. Or. Oh my god. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we basically entered Snow Go, I guess. And we got the red gem. I guess I don't know what to say because we already finished this fucking level and I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Please send us a was. <laughs> this part is really all over the place and they're like that we finished everything in this warp room. Whoa, yay, we did it. But we're not done yet. We are not done yet. We be, we be, we will be doing ta -ta -ta, snow biz, which obviously needs the red gem which is what we just did and got so we can just simply get this get into this level and do it from here on out and 
another snow level. What a big surprise. In a snow themed warp room. But yeah, this level, I believe, has 124 boxes. That's literally from the top of my head. So, yeah. And, oh wow, okay. I, I didn't, I forgot that that was there. But yeah. We are going into the death route, I guess. And the one thing about this game, or level, I guess, is that um, when I was a child, I really thought that this route or jam path was for some reason bugged which for whatever reason i don't know why i even thought it was bugged to begin with but yeah there's also a glitch an extra item glitch that this game introduces where if you actually j bounce on a certain bouncy box something like this like if you actually jump on it for like four or five minutes you can get gems and crystals depending on what enemies you bounce on so if you jump on a seal you get everything or something and i just messed that up so hard and holy crap that's a lot of collectibles i don't know what i'm supposed to say in this part really but i should just get my microphone in here thank you very much okay there we go so yeah nothing much to really talk about this death route so i'm gonna go ahead and just simply ask you guys how are you doing how's your day is it good it's good i'm fine thank you thank you i'm fine i'm fine everything is basically good i should be starting college in january which is good and yeah yeah everything is good also, did I mention that this game actually introduces nitros and I can't believe I just lost both of my masks there. This is embarrassing. As a fucking Crash Bandicoot player. <clears throat> as a Crash Veteran. Excuse me. Yes, I'm known as a Crash Veteran. Yay. 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 Oh yeah, I forgot to say something at the right beginning of the Let's Play. Fuck the blue gem. <laughs> okay, that's kind of random, but... Uh, I'm just gonna live with it. But yeah, this game as a whole actually introduces quite interesting mechanics and levels. Really unique ones as well. And one of them being ice levels, which was never introduced in uh, Crash 1. Which, in my, in my personal opinion, that ice levels or ice stages are basically my favorite kind of environmental stages. Like, I don't know, just for some reason. It's just really, really amazing. And there's a weird glitch that you can do with the bonus round. And I just failed it. I can't believe it. Wait, let me try and do it. Oh, yeah. Not to mention that I'm actually playing this on emulator. So, mind you. Fuck. <laughs> uh, okay, let me try one more time. Because you can't really lose lives in a bonus round. Okay, wait, I don't think you're supposed to do this on the right side. Fuck, okay, you know what, fuck it. Just screw it. It's kind of insufficient in Snow Go and Snow Biz. You know, the first two ice levels that we did, I guess. We're, I mean, we're still doing Snow Biz. But there's also a third ice level, which is called Cold Hard Crash. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, which is actually viable in a certain way and you can get extra boxes by that bug that's apparently in this game i don't know why it's in the game but it may as well be in i guess and this is the first game that actually introduces boxes more than 100 which lacked in the first game so, yeah, is there anything there? No, what's the point of it anyway? I don't know. Okay, there's the last box, and yep, I was right. We do have 124 boxes, and those bloody rolling stones came back from the first game. So, we just got the fir first, first box, Jeff. 
for some reason I assumed there were like two box gems in this game, in this level. But no, we got the crystal at the end and the box gem right there. And bada bing, bada boom. So, that's three levels done, kind of. Not really. But yeah, those are our three levels, I guess. Well, one of them being a death route and a colored gem. But yeah, in the next part, we should be going into our first riding level, Barrett. Is this the first game you even have a riding level? Oh, wait, yeah, hog, hog the hog. Okay, never mind. Okay, in the next part, we should be going into Barrett. I think I just said that already, but yeah. If you want to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch, all three links will be in the description below. And as always, my friends, thank you for watching, have a nice day, and peace.